peeps. This is literally a video about nothing, you have been warned. So I've been planning this night away for a couple of weeks. Uh, and all I was looking for was like a nice little window where I had a couple of nice-ish days where it wasn't going to rain and I could get away to the west coast and hit the glen that I missed what, twice now. The first time the cool bro let me down, didn't uh, record the audio. The second time, well, I deleted everything <laughs> and it's bugging the shit out of me that I've still not caught that road so the plan was an overnight stay away, run up and down that road a couple of times so I definitely had it in the can peace of mind and throw in a camping trip as well try out my new tent so looking forward to it bike was packed about two days before I left cooked my dinner the night before which I was really looking forward to eating and got to my bed early, was up early and uh, all I had to do was go and fuel the bike up, there was no distractions, everything was already done, or I thought everything was uh, packed, no. Anyway, um, this is one of the issues I've had already, give me a second. In a few of my rec more recent videos I have been using this new Sena 50C for my audio, or at least some of the audio, it's come in handy. Um, but man, they are they're a bit of a bugger to set up, it's not straightforward. There's a separate app for the camera. No. Anyway, there's loads of videos about it out there, so I'm not going to go into it. But um, yeah, yesterday I was using this to do my running com commentary as I went up the road, I was headed to Granton and Spey, I was going to stop there for a cup of coffee, but on the way there it started raining and I was talking you through why there was red marks on the road and um, just a bit of general banter and the whole time I was doing that this damn camera was talking back to me. She was searching for audio or no that's not what she was searching for an intercom she was looking for a pair device and it was on a constant loop every 20 seconds or so she was chiming in over the top of the video now i thought using the the toggle on the side there that i could actually um turn her down and it wouldn't come through on the video that didn't happen. I tried everything and I couldn't get her to disappear um, while I was riding anyway. Um, a bit annoying but I thought well maybe this won't come through on the audio but I've checked and it does so it's ruined tons of audio of our, my trip up to Aviemore. Um, hence why I'm doing this just to kind of explain it. Um, I've got home, looked up the gumph online and apparently that I have to tap there and she should go away and I tried it this morning and lo and behold it works so my fault should have read the manual and there are a lot of people on the forums moaning about this not working but it, it worked first time for me as soon as I tapped that and then held it it went off <coughs> excuse me um, <coughs> so to cut a very long story short the red stuff that you can see on the road is beetroot which is being taken to the Baxter's factory yes Baxter's that make jam and meals and pickled veg and soup etc they're nearby so at this time of year they're moving all the beetroot towards the factory so it looks like roadkill <laughs> looks like there's been a massacre for miles in each direction that's what we were pointing out um, I was also telling you that I'd aim to travel light. I wasn't taking any waterproofs with me. I'd look for this specific weather window on my days off. No rain forecast. It rained. Uh, I'd got about halfway to Granton and Spey and it was starting to spit. Got quite a heavy shower um, and I was wearing nothing waterproof. It was always just going straight through into this top. And um, 
getting chilly with it. Burst through the other side, roads of bone dry. I could see more rain coming down the valley, but we were kind of turning away from it. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of came in from the other side of the hill as well. So I got another heavy shower and a good soaking before we got to Granton. Nice warm up, chit chat with the staff at KJ's Bothy. So if you're ever in the area, KJ's Bothy is the place to go for coffee and uh, sannies, sausage rolls and cakes. Now, I'm saying sausage rolls, they're better than sausage rolls. The lady's amazing. Anyway, according to the girls there, uh, the roads ahead were dry, just outside of Grattan. Uh, the roads were dry, certainly up towards Aviemore. They'd either been out there earlier that day or spoken to somebody who had and um, yep they were right I had literally got round the corner roads were dry I got the edge of a shower but by the time I got to Aviemore or towards Aviemore it was warming up and lovely and dry and it looked like it was clearing ahead so put me in a, a better frame of mind um, I think about five miles from Aviemore I came up uh, behind some traffic just around the Carbridge Junction, managed to work my way through on the little swart pulling, which is loaded up the hill, you can see there. And uh, the there's a lovely little section of uh, corners, uh, funnily enough, beside a graveyard, <laughs> which I was working my way through. And oh, I felt the back end moving and I felt very Jack Miller at the time. I thought, wow, that's impressive, but it wasn't me. Uh, I, so I realized quickly that I was losing pressure from the rear tire. And uh, so I just moseyed on into Aviemore, uh, find the filling station there and just pulled in. And literally, I the, the bike had just stopped in the parking, one of the parking spaces uh, at the the station and this lad came up behind me and offered to read me <laughs> all right yeah um this is a lovely chap andre from italy as soon as i pulled in he literally spotted the flat tire and he was straight over behind me what a cracking guy amazing um you know middle of a, a tour from turin to the north of scotland and took it upon himself to come and check that i was okay <laughs> So me being the professional vlogger that I am, I've got absolutely no footage of any of this. <laughs> well, a tiny little bit, not a lot. Um, but what happened is we took the bike over, uh, put some air in the tire, which was flat, yeah, pancake flat. And uh, eventually it started filling up and it, it went rock hard. I was like, okay, fine, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I am Jack Miller, maybe I managed to get the tyre off the rim a little bit there in that last corner and deflate it, but eh, well, we all know that's not true. <laughs> so, so we ended up, we had a good look at the tyre, we could not find a hole, a nail, nothing. It was like the, we ran water over it, back and forth, umpteen times, not a thing. Um, so kind of gave up. Uh, it was holding, it was holding air and I thought, you know what? I said, I said to Andre and his girlfriend, like, uh, thanks very much for your help and your offer of a reaming. I am going to head home. <laughs> I'm going to have to knock my trip on the head again. That damn valley for the third time has put the kibosh on things. Um, and my missus has said, I'm not allowed to go. She says, look, give it a miss. Don't do it this year. It's trying to tell you something. Oh man, this is doing my head in. Anyway, um, I just checked the bike over again made sure we never missed anything, topped up the tyre and I kind of thought I might be able to do little hops all the way home so back to Grattan and Spey, top it up there, uh, back to Craigellachie, top it up there and then I should make it back home from there and get the bike in to get a new tyre on or have it looked at at least. Um, as I say, in the filling station, the tyre was holding pressure, but uh, I got to the national speed limit signs at the other side of Aviemore and had to turn around and come back. It went down that quickly with some weight on it. So, I find a small, small leak. Uh, let's see if I can 
where the valve is. I'll, I'll cut in a section. Um, I find when I had a little listen, I thought, there's got to be some air coming out somewhere, and I could hear it, and I, I thought it might be the valve. But it turned out it was the spoke base next to that valve that there were bubbles coming out of once we put water on it. <clears throat> so that was the issue. There's some air getting out of the wheel. Whether it's, this is the big debate now, Code your bike, and I've been talking about this because somebody had asked me if these tire, these wheels are truly tubeless because it's a tubeless tire on it. But I wasn't there when they put it on, so I don't know if there a tube in there or have KTM got one of those silicon bands that cover the spokes that make the wheels tubeless. No idea. So that's why I left my puncture repair kit at home. Because I thought it's tubeless and I wouldn't need it. As it turns out, I probably did. We'll find out today because I'm taking this van over with the bike in it to drop it off and see if they can have a look at it and let me know either way if I need a new tyre or a tube or a seal or what. I would just, I was going to be doing a, an update on the tyre as well because that's it, it, I think about 2,000, 2,500 miles that that tyre's now done. Still, still looking good. Just a bit, just a bit deflated. But it's holding up nicely. It's got a slight flat spot on it, but getting there. It's great tread on it hard wearing. This thing gets ragged everywhere, honestly. Um, so, yeah, basically after that, I sat on Avi Moore for another four hours till my wife finished work. Luckily the van was all packed up because and had everything in it because it had moose in the back of it for the same with recently. So all she had to do was drive up to Avi Moore, which is yeah, about an hour away. So I hadn't made it far. I sat and drank coffee all day, dodged the rain, and uh, now we've got a new mate on Instagram, <laughs> Andre. Uh, I hope his trip goes better than mine does. And you know what? There's nothing like bumping into somebody like that. Somebody, him and his girlfriend, have ridden all the way from Turin on MT09s. There's nothing like bumping into somebody like that, and making your making your piffy little night away seem absolutely useless and <laughs> thick. Oh, I wish I was that age again, really do. Anyway, uh, I will do that camping trip before the end of the season. That's the rain coming back. See, it's supposed to be blue skies today. It's me. Well, bloody jinx. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will do that camping trip. I will do that road before the end of the year, even if I've got a lovely brown bracken, I don't care, we're doing it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've watched my videos before, please subscribe. If you haven't already, hit me with a few likes when you get that thousand subs so I can get this video short out that I promised you all. Bye.